that I have up here, the history of the internet written in 1999 has the following at page 138 to say of our guest speaker tonight and I read in la I need my glasses <laughs> In 1989, mathematician Philip Amagwali shocked the supercomputer industry by performing the world's fastest computation, 3.1 billion calculations per second using the power of the internet. The result, as computer scientist Marshall Lakes put it, were, and quote, phenomena, blah, 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 three times faster than a supercomputer. It continues. During the late 1980s, the US government listed petroleum reservoir simulation among the 20 grand challenges to scientists in America. Back then, supercomputer simulations were locating oil reserves with only 10% accuracy. Harnessing the power of parallel computing, Amagwali was able to effectively simulate petroleum reserves and change oil exploration history. In 1989, breaking his breakthrough in 1989 won him the prestigious Gordon Bell Prize known as the Nobel Prize of Computing. Eagles see farther than humans. Cheetahs run faster than humans. Elephants are stronger than humans. But humans have the edge over other animals because they are wiser. Looking into the future, can be like setting our brains on fire. New knowledge is often counterintuitive and prone to rejection. It is a mystical, poetical experience to stand on the edge of unknown knowledge, a place that has no beginning or an end. 500 years ago, we thought in straight lines we were convinced that the world was flat. Today, we still think in straight lines. We are convinced that humanity is separate from the super being comprising all living entities. I believe that humanity is merely part of a living web that enshrouds the earth a tiny portion of living things reciprocally affecting the whole while simultaneously co-evolving with the whole. We are continually recreating, redesigning, and reprogramming the human species. A result of a compelling and deep-seated urge within us we will remain tossed forever. People understand connection. They see that connection in their family. They know they are connected to their mother and daughter. But they don't see themselves as part of one living entity that inhabits this planet. The whole, we believe, is equal to the sum of the parts. Our interactions and interconnections are the parts which makes the whole greater than the sum of the parts. Therefore, evolution is no longer an unguided, simple response to outside pressures. It is a self-propelled process 
in which we are both the creator and the created. One of the great minds of the information age is a Nigerian American named Philip Emigwali. He had to leave school because his parents couldn't pay the fees. He lived in a refugee camp during the Civil War. He won a scholarship to university and went on to invent a formula that let computers make 3.1 billion calculations per second. Some people call him the Bill Gates of Africa. <laughs> but what I want to say to you is, there is another Philip Dimigwali, or hundreds of them, or thousands of them.